How did they get the cutout effect? They used a mask, of course. Same thing here. Now that we've looked at it, you can see four layers of generated media, text, this one's a noise texture, this one's a gradient, and this one's a solid color. A couple of plugins, border and position here. These two are masked to create just the size and shape you see here. Nothing too complex, nothing we haven't already done. It's just nothing short of quietly elegant. Let's go back to this guy. The stations are well aware of the problem of burn-in on televisions. So when they're going to have something like this on the screen for any length of time, what they'll generally do is move it around a little bit or fade it in and out. Easily done with a vent pan crop. And you can get a lot fancier if you choose using track motion or a combination of other effects. Let's examine the next one. I've added a text layer. Here we have another color gradient. with a mask. Another color gradient with a mask. Another color gradient with a mask. And at this point, I think we have enough information to make our own. I've assembled two pieces. This one's going to be a kind of a bulletin board. I'm going to make it on the left portion of the screen here. This one, I'm not quite sure, we'll work it together.